Hey guys, this is lesson 36, and let's go ahead and get started. So, um, as a review from last week, and so again, percents and decimals, and we're asked to write the following decimals as percents and percents as decimals. And so for number one, we have 284%, and we want that as decimals, right? So again, 284% could be written as 284 over 100. And 284 divided by 100 is 2.84. Okay. How about number two? We have 10%. And that could be written as 10 over 100. And 10 divided by 100. Move the decimal point two times to the left. And we get 0 0.10 or just 0 0.1. Okay. So that's it. Um, try the rest on your own, and let's move on. Some measuring units. Hopefully, you guys remember um, from last week that one meter equals 100 centimeters, and one centimeters equals 100 millimeters, okay? And so using... um. Now we're going to convert the following measuring units. So for number one, we're going to go ahead and convert 41.5 centimeters to millimeters. Okay. So again, we got to cancel out that measuring unit. And so we're going to put centimeter there and one centimeter equals 10 millimeters. Right, and so we can now cancel out that centimeters, and now all we got to do is 41.5 times 10 divided by 1. And so that's 415 millimeter. Okay, number two, we have 6.6 .6 meter, and we want that in centimeters. Okay, again, to cancel out millimeter, um, I mean the, the unit. We're going to put one meter, and one meter equals 100 centimeters. And so now we could cancel that out. And we do 6.6 .6 times 100 divided by 1, which is 660 centimeters. Okay? So um, go ahead and convert the rest of the measuring units. And let's move on to our third page. So, again, hopefully from last week you guys remember the formula. Area of a circle equals pi r squared, all right? And r is, again, the radius, radius, sorry. And so for number one, we're given the radius of 5.9 meters. And so we're going to go ahead and plug that in to our formula. And we have 3.14, which is pi, right? So 3.14 times the radius, which is 5.9 squared. And so we first do 5.9 times 5.9. And again, we're going to make that a whole number. So we're going to get rid of the decimal for now. And we multiply. Them. So 81. Three. One, eight. Okay, and then we're going to move the decimal point back. So it's um, 34.81. And now we're going to multiply 34.81 by 3.14, right? And so again, we're going to um, just ignore the decimal point for now. Times 314. And we're um, going to multiply using whole numbers. Uh, and that's 4, 2, 18. That's 1, 8, 4, 3, that's 3, 4, 4, 0. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and add them. That's 4. Uh, Zero, 
three, nine, and then ten. Okay. So, oh wait, we don't need that. So our final answer. Again, we gotta move the decimal point back. One, two, three, four, and we put it there. And our final answer is 109.3034. Don't forget the measuring unit, which is meter squared because it's an area, okay? meter squared okay so I'm um, using the formula try number two and three and let's move on to our last page so for number one they're asking us to draw a trapezoid with vertices at these points and then move it three units down and find the new coordinates, okay? So again, we're moving up and down, right? That means we're moving on the y-axis. And so we're moving three units down, so that'll be minus three, right? And if we list the coordinate points here, that's seven, seven, six, and then zero, okay. So our new coordinates would be y values minus um, subtracting three from the y values, right? And so the x value is going to stay the same. And we're basically subtracting three from the y value. So that would be four, four, negative nine, and negative nine. Okay. Right? So that's our new um, coordinate. And go ahead and um, plot them on the coordinate grid and then draw a trapezoid. Okay, so try number two, finish the worksheet. And then here is your answer key.